Tom Jesh at Altman Plants. So this one that I'm uh, showing you today is called Sedaveria Blue Elf. Sedaveria, what the heck is that? Actually, it's a hybrid between a sedum and an echeveria. Sedum and echeveria, so sedaveria. Blue Elf, it's a little guy. That's why they use the elf name in the word. This one grows into a very tight mound that might eventually get to be about just 10 or 12 inches wide. It likes to be in a little bit of part shade if you're able to grow it in a climate where you can grow it outside year round or in nooks and crannies between rocks and boulders and, or logs and things like that. Kind of, kind of almost like filtered shade forest floor. But it also makes a fantastic indoor plant where you can put it in a pot on a windowsill. Just remember that indoors there's way less light even when it's shining bright coming right in the window. So you want to put it right in a sunny window indoors. And this is a great little succulent plant that is easy to grow. It's very enduring and it makes those little pups around the outside. I like to put it sometimes in a little bit of a taller pot so that it almost makes kind of like a, a cap. The prettiest part to me is that foliage that makes the nice little mound. Now another thing about succulents, there's a lot of people that are really excited about succulents that make a super tight mound of foliage. And that this is a good candidate for that because as those little babies start to form around the sides, all the leaves kind of get squished together closer and closer. And it really makes like this solid mound that you can just kind of pet and pat on the head. Good little hen, good little baby chicks. This is Sedaveria Blue Elk. This is gonna be one that you really enjoy.